okay now this seems to be a complicated one uh, to read a string input and print out the same display the length of the string entered without using any library functions accept another string and join them together without library library function okay so basically it's a three part problem okay let's uh, let's do it uh, let's take it one by one so as usual we need to have the include statements so include io stream dot h uh, hash include conio dot h and hash hash include string dot h now this will contain string uh, related uh, functions that is functions which uh, basically help us in manipulating the uh, strings strings is nothing but a set of characters treated together uh, and each letter of the string um, um, would be a character so a string of characters uh, is a string um, here a uh, string is a uh, data type okay so now let's uh, look at void um, mm, okay i did mention string is a um, um, string is a set of characters um, so uh, even though uh, we have uh, you know uh, string uh, word i am using but it would be a character type uh, using a array right so uh, a string would be let's say s of 50 kind of thing so it's uh, a set of characters uh, each each element of the array would be treated as uh, will uh, be will be used to store a uh, character and the combined thing together is uh, you know is treated as a string and uh, last but not the least the uh, last element of a string would be a null character okay when we come to null character we'll see okay so void main uh, now let's do this okay now care now uh, this is important yeah, just observe what i'm doing is i'm defining an array of characters right so it's a uh, array of characters so the maximum uh, number of elements that can be stored in this is 50 okay and i have int let's say l okay now let's see um, let's not uh, get into l and all that so let's keep uh, developing it clear the screen now uh, uh, display a prompt to enter the string okay now scene get line right get line that means uh, a, 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 the, this particular uh, function would allow us to accept a whole series of uh, characters so that means it will i can keep typing and when i press the enter key uh, till that point everything is taken and each character that i have typed will be put in uh, the uh, each element of the array okay so get line s comma 50 okay now here uh, important this get line uh, function uh, requires two parameters one is the um, array array of uh, uh, the name of the array in which the string has to be stored and uh, second is the uh, maximum length of the uh, of the string that can be uh, stored okay uh, now uh, we have accepted it now let's uh, uh, now we need to display it so see out okay see out let's keep some uh, distance um, let's put some empty lines end line uh, let's say another end line and then the the given string is is and see out dot write 
एस डॉट एस डॉट सॉरी एस कॉमा दैट इज द सेकेंड पैरामीटर इज द लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग सो लेट से फिफ्टी ओके नाउ दिस इज द इनपुट पार्ट दिस इज द आउटपुट पार्ट एंड फाइनली गेट सी एच ओके ना लेट्स लेट्स रन दिस लेट्स रन दिस लेट्स टाइप इन लेट्स टाइप इन सेंटेंस टू फाइंड द लेंथ जस्ट समथिंग दैट आई एम टाइपिंग ओके सो द गिवन स्ट्रिंग इज Uh, what happened to find the length to okay uh, it didn't actually it didn't actually uh, do anything so let's do it again string the given string is nothing is happening so that means there is something wrong here so what's that wrong so character s of 50 clear screen enter the string c in dot uh, get line s comma 50 okay end line end line okay the given string is c out dot write s comma 50 okay Uh, so this should actually work uh, let's see again here what i should do is i should put a end line so that finally it goes to the next line let's try again my name okay now this is creating some problem okay let's run this again wish okay some junk is coming so let's let's simplify this and remove this and see what happens uh again uh wish it is displaying but apart from that this lot of junk being written okay so uh enter the string get line s comma 50 uh mm, let's do one thing let's let's actually initialize this so all the elements to uh, null okay empty empty string so for i is equal to 0 uh let's initialize it here itself int i equal to 0 i less than or equal to less than or equal to 50 uh and then i plus plus okay and a uh, very simple s of i is equal to empty string now let's let's see what happens convert char star to character okay this should be character so uh let's okay uh character constant must be one or two characters okay null let's see okay null means it's empty uh, okay enter the string so let's say vishv the given string is vishv okay let's run it again uh, uh find the length find the length so basically uh, the problem was that uh, when you don't initially put any values in a variable you just declare them uh, in the memory it might contain some junk and sometimes because of this junk unexpected results come up so it is highly recommended that uh, before you uh, utilize these variables they are initialized to a Uh, initial value which is uh, you know which is uh, you know specific to the data type that you are using okay now instead see for example here int i equal to 
So I wanted to start from zero. So I'm initializing it. Even if I had not initialized it here before itself, if I had initialized, say for example, if I had said int i, I could I can just leave it and I don't have to do this. But then I should ideally, uh, even if I'm not using a for loop, um, because in a for loop generally you tend to initialize it. So while declaring it itself, you should initialize it. Okay, so mm, this is very essential because sometimes things happen which you don't expect. Okay, let's run it again once more. So uh, without a uh, without a uh, just enough. Uh, that's enough without a. Okay, so we have accepted a line and we have displayed the line. Okay, uh, now what we need to do is we need to. Uh, find out the length of the um, length of the display the length of the string entered so we have to find the length so for this let's um, let's again do one thing let's set up a loop i equal to 0 i less than or equal to uh, 50 okay uh, okay here i have not put equal to equal to should be there uh, and i plus plus okay and uh, what i should do is uh, if if okay i need to put uh, this one if uh, s of i is equal to is equal to uh, is equal to um, is equal to um, let me just uh, look up something very specific backslash zero okay it should be um, it should be backslash zero basically backslash zero is a special uh, type of character where which tells us that this is the end of the string so if if this is the case if s of i if s of i is equal to this then that means that is the end of the so immediately what we can do is we can uh, exit the loop or um, yeah exit the loop or we can break out of the loop let's see let's see wh what happens here. Oh, okay and then what we need to do is the given string is this uh, um, and then see out uh, the length of the string is okay length of the string is what i okay now what we can do is instead of using i itself uh what we can okay let's let's see let's see whether we really require another uh because here the scope of this i would be within the loop so i think we will require anyhow let's let's run this uh, let's say vishwanath okay the given string is this the length of the string is okay so some overwriting and all that is happening so what we need to do is give it a end line that means we need to take it to the next line so end line okay now let's run this uh, again okay right the given string is the length of the string is 51 it's not possible to have uh, okay so uh, here if s of i equality sign okay see uh, okay undefined symbol exit so it should be break itself let's let's run this yes okay uh, okay the given string is vishwana the length of the string is 10 4 plus 4 8 plus 2 10 okay so uh, 
I got confused uh, between break and uh, um, break and uh, exit. So the more you keep practicing, the more uh, you know you will tend to uh, remember it. Um, okay. Um, so that completes the second part of the um, second part of the. Um, uh, problem. Now the third part of the problem is we need to accept one more, one more string, right? So we need to accept one more string, and then uh, combine them, right? Combine them together. So what I'll do is I'll copy it, okay? Uh, copy it and paste it okay and uh, i will uh, declare it uh, okay now here so what i'll do is i'll declare another one uh, second one so okay second uh, of 50 let's say so 50 second of 50 and this will be character second of 60 and this will be second okay so i got to uh, this one so now what i have to do is i have to combine the first and the second um, strings okay so let's see how to uh, um, combine these two okay uh, by the way uh, so, um, uh, we know the length of the first string right so what we'll do is we will use the same thing uh, so we will say ki, okay the length okay int len 1 is equal to i uh, because that is what we had here okay and uh, we require the uh, second length of the second one so which means we require to generate this again okay so we will uh, we will again copy this and we will paste it so paste so now uh, here instead of this we will use sec so now uh, uh, which means len of okay int len 2 is equal to uh, I again okay so this is for the first one this is for the second one so now we have the uh, both the uh, this one okay uh, so now um, what we need to do is take the first one to that we have to keep adding the characters of the second string so for I is equal to 0 I less than less than len uh, 2 it should be less than not equal to it should not be less than or equal to because less than or if equal to uh, we don't want to include the um, a, a null character null character okay um, okay len 2 and then i plus plus okay uh, now remember uh, what we need to do is we need to take the first uh, um, string first string is uh, s s of now remember this is len 1 the length of this is to that we have to add you know uh, let's say this is 10 remember i had entered vishwanath so 10 characters so the 11th character should be the first character of the second string so uh, len 1 plus i i is equal to second i second of i okay and uh, then once the loop is over that means i have reached the 
I have, I have added all the uh, characters of the second, but I have to add a, uh, a null character to show that that is the end of the string. So, what I have to do is s s l1 plus sorry len1 plus len2 is equal to is equal to backslash 0 ok and then I have to display this C out combined combined string is combined string is ok and C out dot write what we have to s comma len1 plus len2 get ch now let's see what happens okay enter the string vishwanath the given string is vishwanath the length of the string is 10 okay press a key enter the second string now this is the second string so i put a space and say uh, um, say Nagpur ok and I press enter so combined string is ok I should not have put a space ok uh, let's Monica uh, ok the length of the character is ok Celes ok combined string it's not coming so that means there is some thing wrong here okay uh, now let's let's display c out c out the length of second string is len2 let's try that uh, um, um, let's say uh, india okay five characters great bharat okay the length of the second string is seven combined string it is not giving okay combined string i should put in the second this one so let's put a end line here okay so let's run this again uh, india okay great bharat okay the length of the second string is 4 plus 3 7 combined string it's not coming uh, s this is s right so this is s to the s we have to add oh here we are we are starting with i equal to 0 so len 1 plus 0 is equal to sec 0 second second now where did we accept second okay here okay oh. So sec okay. Now many times when you get stuck like this, do this. A display intermediate values, which doesn't make sense in the final output, but it helps you in understanding what is going on. So C out okay and uh, say end line so that it goes to the next line and then ask it to display uh, len1 plus i or ask it to display uh, s itself ok s now let's see what happens uh, india bharat harat ok the length of the second see h a 
एच ए आर एच ए आर ए एच ए आर ए टी एच ए आर ए टी एच सो इट्स डूइंग इट प्रॉपरली एंड हियर इट इज क्रिएटिंग अ प्रॉब्लम ओके सो हियर लेट्स पुट वन एंड लाइन एंड लाइन ओके and here let's try it once more india b h a r a t h okay india b india b h india b h a b h a r b h a r a b h a r a t h a r a t h combined string is that is not coming why so here C out that okay. S should come here. Let's say plus one. Okay, now let's see what happens. Okay, here is where it is. This this is creating a problem. Okay, so that null character being added. So that is where. the problem is coming so let's do that edit paste okay and let's see what happens uh india p h a r a t h okay india bharat okay twice it is coming that means it is uh, displaying the okay the combined string is c o dot write s dot okay plus 1 okay now let's see india bharat command string is that is not coming this is this statement is not getting executed oh, what is the problem the problem s len 1 plus len 2 plus 1 okay mm. okay let's let's not use this method at all what we can do is uh edit cut let's take a shortcut let's directly give it off to this s uh now let's see india bharat india bharat right so now this is coming perfectly i don't need this displays so instead of deleting them uh mark them as comment so that tomorrow when you are adding some functionality and you require them again you can just remove them okay so all the display statements we will remove them unnecessary display statements okay now let's finally run this once more uh india bharat combined string is so 5 plus 7 okay so that completes uh the